sure has a new appreciation of being a Packers season ticket holder. Here to help us explain that story, we welcome in Rick Riley from Green Bay. Good evening, Rick. Hi, Bloom. Hey, it's starting to rain and get really windy here. We're in Lambeau. This place is for football fans, what the Louvre is to art fans. Over 70,000 people are lucky enough to have season tickets here. You talk to any one of, the, one of them, and they'll say they die without their season tickets. But you're about to meet a guy for whom that is literally true. Packers season tickets are the lifeblood of Green Bay. Applications for them flood in day after day, skyscrapers of false hope. People will wait lifetimes for them. My name is Kyle, waiting list number 8,875. I have been on the list 27 years. Even centuries. Even when they already work for the Packers. I'm Mark Wagner. I'm the ticket director for the Green Bay Packers. I'm at 67,572. Because Packer dreams have no expiration date. It may not be old for me, but I think my son still has a shot. Why is the wait so astronomical? Because Packers fans will do anything to get and keep their season tickets. Take 81-year-old Jim Becker. Season tickets aren't just his lifeblood. They turned out to be way more important than that. When I was going to buy the season tickets and I knew it would be about $60, I didn't have $60 that extra that I could spend. So I decided, well, if I go give blood, they would give you the money. And they were paying anywhere from $12 or $15 a pint at that time. So if I did that four times a year, four times 15 would be 60 and took care of my tickets. So I just kept doing that. He gave blood every quarter of every year, season after season, which meant that, except for the baptisms of his 11 kids, Jim Becker would never have to miss a Packers game. This is a picture that was in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel after the ice bowl. We were looking down the goal line that they scored on, and you can't recognize me there, but I know who I am. I've got an arrow pointing to me. I've got a face mask on, and uh, the crowd around me I recognize. That's the breath that is making this picture tough to see. Star, he's going deep. Don't name it. Downey Stadium, championship game. Fred's first touchdown pass. Oh, Barry Sanders to 13 yards. Right. Scott Waterfield, that quarterback. They were down 23 to nothing at half. 35-23. Lots and lots of Packers games. 212. I have them on the computer. I have the dates, who they played, the score, and just a brief highlight of what happened at that game. So it was 212. Lots and lots of pints of blood to pay for them. 192. And then one day when Jim Becker was 45, he took a work physical. And doctors told him he had hemochromatosis. His father had died of it at the age of 43, while Jim was fighting in the Korean War. Hemochromatosis is an inherited condition in which the body gradually, over many years, absorbs too much iron from the diet. To treat this condition, we remove blood in the amount of about half a liter or half a quart until we remove the excess iron from the body. Wait, did he just say the cure is to take blood out of the body? Yeah, the treatment is exactly the same as what one does when one goes to the blood bank. Isn't that exactly what Jim Becker had been doing four times a year every year? I said, well, I've been giving blood X amount of times ever since 52. And he said, well, if you hadn't done that, he said, we would not be having this conversation today. He said, you wouldn't be here. Then it kind of got, <laughs> got my attention. <laughs> so what do you know? Buying Packers season tickets doesn't just make your life. Sometimes it saves it. Kind of, wow, you know, that just awestruck for a minute there. I guess I didn't really realize that the, how lucky I had been. Which only goes to prove it pays to be a diehard Packers fan. My loyalty? Well, I made sure that every day after a game they lost, I put my Packer flag out on the street. There's a lot of people that jump on board, but you might as well stick with them all through it. 